Hi, welcome to my 20-minute uh, workout. If, if this is the first time uh, you've joined us, then you're really welcome. Uh, we're going to go through a series of 20 exercises. Um, we'll just do uh, each one one time, working for 40 seconds with a 20-second uh, rest. I'll offer a modification. So if you haven't uh, worked out with me before, then please follow um, the gentler option. Take it at your own pace anyway. Um, the idea of this workout is that it's for those who are just easing into exercise, joining us for the first time, or for those of you who do regular classes and just want a shorter workout to fit in uh, when it's convenient for you. So we will be working with dumbbells. Um, I have uh, different weights for different exercises, just work with what you've got. And also I will use a bender ball for one exercise. If you, if you don't have one, don't worry, um, you don't need it. It's just Good, so we'll get going with a quick warm up and a cool down. The whole thing should be in under half an hour. That's my goal. So let's get going. So step and reach to warm up. Gorgeous day. And four, three, two, and one. We're just going to kick up the leg, bring down the opposite arm, stay nice and tall through the spine, but keep the leg, the knee relaxed. Four, three, two, and one. Good. One more step and reach. Just getting the heart rate up a little bit mobilizing the joints, getting the blood flowing even more. And four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go into a gentle side to side lunge. So drive your hips back. Good, and just sit into it on that side, just hold it. Good, and the other side. It's a nice stretch through the inner thigh. Okay, gentle squat. You're going to swing the arms, brace the core, and balance at the top. So just pull in the tummy muscles. One more. Get the core muscles engaged and activated. Good. Good morning. Push away with your bottom, back straight. Breathe out as you go down. Keep the knees soft, don't squat. And one more. Okay, we're going to do a hamstring stretch this way. So heel dig and just scoop down with both hands either side of the foot. Just do three on each leg. Good, and other side. Okay, take feet slightly wider again. We're going to rotate from side to side, just dropping the hand down towards the inside of the foot. Just work through at your own level. Keep the knees soft. Rotating through the spine. Warming up the shoulders. Good, couple more. And last one. Great. Okay, let's step back into a reverse lunge. So gently pulsing through the hip flexor. I'll turn sideways so you can see the position of my lunge. So you want nice right angles in the leg. I'm going to bring up the opposite arm. Hold that and lean over towards the front leg. Just stretching through the glutes. Good, we'll do that on the other side, facing the camera, facing you. Reaching up. I've got my husband doing it behind the camera. He's keeping me company. Good. And then the circle through the hips this way. And we'll get going. Last two. One. 
And two, good. So grab a weight, you're gonna work with a single weight if you've got a heavier one or you can hold two smaller ones. You're going to do a nice wide squat, knees heading out towards the toes, tucking in the bottom, upright through the upper body. Okay, 40 seconds. Get the music going and off the low. Good, and so breathe out as you drop down. Well done. Halfway. Good. Nearly there. A few more seconds. Last couple. Last one. Good. Well done. Grab two weights. So we're going to change legs at half time. We're going to take a big step back, back heel raise, holding the weights at the shoulders, and we're going to drop down into a static lunge. Change at half time. Here we go. Keep the core engaged, helps keep you stable. One more. Good. Quickly change around. Back heel raise. Get your balance. Off we go. Quick turn around. And one more. Good. Well done. Okay. We're going to work with one weight. We're going to do a standing core exercise. So feet a good hip width apart, take the weight to one side of the head and we're bringing it down to the opposite knee, staying tall through the spine. So use your stomach muscles to bring the knee up. We'll change legs about halfway. Good. Change. Get through this in no time. Make this the last one. Tuck in one more. Well done. That was short notice. Okay, we're going to go down to the floor now. So grab a heavy weight if you have one. You don't need to use a weight at all. We're going to plant the feet just beyond the knees, squeeze the glutes, and bridge up. Exercise So you don't need to use a weight. So squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. And squeeze. Hips as high as you can. Activating those glute muscles even more. Okay, last one. Good, well done. Okay, both weights now. To do a squat and press. So, if you don't want to do a shoulder press with this, the regular squat is hinging back, Exercise keeping the weight in the heels, but we're going to add in a shoulder press. Breathe out as you press up. Halfway, keep going, doing well. Squeeze the glutes, rise up. Last one. 
Good, well done. Okay, we're gonna do the cardio. So I'm gonna do star jumps. You can do a step and reach if you're just joining us, building up, or you can do something else of your choice. Here we go. And go. Okay, 20 seconds, keep going. Keep smiling, doing well. Two, one, good, well done. Back to the mat, we're gonna do press ups now. So three levels. Do them in a box position, shoulders over wrists. You can do the full press up, or we can do them in an intermediate level together on our knees. Good, keep your back straight, pull the tummy button in, squeeze the glutes. Good, keep going, you need that. That's one. So, well done, sit back. Take a rest if you need it. So I'm going to do a, a bicep curl with a curtsy squat. So working through the glute, lower body, with a bicep curl. We'll stay with one side. If your lower body needs a rest, just do the bicep curls in the standing position. Last one. Now change. Keep the elbows tucked into the ribs. And last one. Good. Well done. Good. Coming down to the mat. into superman position. So we're gonna tricep back and extend the opposite leg. Off we go. Exercise man. You can do a superman, regular superman, if this is too much. Keep that core engaged. We're gonna change at half time. That's Quick change. Good, one more. Well done. Okay, pop the weight down. We're going to do regular side lunges. Uh, we'll hold two weights, I think. So lowering the weight, either side of the knee, step across. You can hop across if you want a bit more cardio. Drive the hips back. If it's too much with the weights, just work without. Good, keep going. Two, 
done one. Well done. Grab a quick drink and we're going to push it up the body. So we're going to roll up, Three, two, back down, three. and then fly. Exercise one. I'll do it from the front. Row, fly. Take the shoulder blades together, draw them together as you take the weights out to the side. Back nice and straight. That's not good. Well done. <laughs> Row up, keeping the elbows tucked in, and fly. Well done, good. So grab a bender ball if you have one. We're going to do an elbow plank. If you've got a bender ball, squeeze it between your knees. We're going to drop the knees to the mat. Two. Exercise so just two. hold the plank if you haven't a ball, where you can drop the knees anyway. So tummy button up into the spine, squeeze that ball. Squeeze. Okay, last one, make this the last one. Good, well done. Sit back if you need a little bit of a stretch. Good. Upper body. You can always use tin cans or bags of sugar. Lateral raises. Out to the side, front raises. Like a core holding you stable. Good, last one up to the front. Here we go. Woo, well done. Okay, gonna come down to the mat today. Toe touches. So fingers are facing away from us. We're going to lift our bottom off the mat and touch the toes. You can do this with your bottom on the mat if it's too much. Or you can do another bridge. chest press. So elbows at right angles Two. and press up. Exercise. If you can, we're going to lower the legs. Pressing your back into the mat. If that's too hard, just keep the knees there. You're still working your core. Press that back into the mat. Last one. 
Good, well done. Okay, another cardio burst. So we're going to do skater lunges. I'll do them without weight, but if you're used to doing them in class, you can use so imagine you're a speed skater. You can tap your back foot down if you need to. Just do speed skater arms. So we're going to do an extended plank Three, and tap the legs out to the side. Exercise seven. Just hold the plank if the leg taps too much. legs. So if you're new to, to these classes and you do this a couple of times a week, within certainly three weeks you'll feel a big difference. Okay, foot across the knee for a glute stretch. You want to turn over and do a pigeon. 
you'll know what I mean, therefore you'll know what I'm what you're doing. Good. So push that knee back, open up the hip, and change legs on that. Good, well done. So we'll come up to do a quad stretch. <clears throat> so bringing the heel up to the bottom, straight, uh, stretching through the front of the thigh. Good, change legs on that. Good, well done. We'll step back for a calf stretch. So back heel down, feet are tracking forward, lunging into the front leg and just bring the arms forward, push away with the back of the hands and round through the shoulders. Good, and we'll do the same thing on the other leg, but this time we'll stretch out the chest. So back heel down. Take the hands behind for a chest stretch. Good. Triceps, so hand up, pop it between the shoulder blades and pull on the elbow. Other side, same thing. Good, and then we're going to finish with a roll down and a cat and cow stretch. So chin to chest, take your feet slightly wider. Good, just breathe out as you gently roll down through the spine. Relax the upper body. Good, I'll turn sideways. So as we roll up, just shuffle the feet in. Let's come up halfway. Squat into the legs. Monday morning, so if I don't see